Hello all and welcome to Sunday's Q&A. Kind of different Q&A today as you can tell, I'm not in the usual surroundings. I'm, um, I'm on my way to Inverness. It's been very full on lately, I have to say, with the, uh, the new job for Transport IT. I'm now an employee and we're forging the way forward for Transport IT, which I'm happy about because they're a good firm and it's good to get in at the base level, like you know. But obviously, a lot of work needs to be done. So, um, yeah, this stuff I've got on board needs to be in Inverness at 6.30 on Monday morning. I can't go up on Monday then, can I? So it's going to have to come, to come up on the Sunday, get up there, kip overnight, have it on board in the morning, and I've got to take the rubbish back. So, so with that in mind, also it has been very busy. Like I say, there has been a lot. Um, has been very full on. Um, it's a kind of different Q and A because what I would normally do is I'd get on a computer and I'd copy them down and then I'd print them and then I could like sort of comment on them. But I had time to do it. Literally, I mean, I was working. I've been working all the time, right up until Friday. Yesterday, I had to do just some normal my stuff in the morning, just sort of emails and stuff. And then, then we put the Christmas decorations up. And by that time, it was like three, four o'clock. And I thought, I just have a little rest. Because <laughs> sometimes you got to have a little rest. So what I'm going to do is so I've got the um, the iPad -y thing here, the um, tablet. So this is what I use for me sat nav. So while I've stopped on my 45 minute break, I thought this could be an opportunity for me to relax and talk to you guys about what you had to say on this week's one, which was on the adaptive cruise control. So we'll start off with what Ben I Ben said. He would say, he said, I would say the way you were driving wasn't safe. Four exclamation marks. Don't think you looked in your mirrors once. Too busy making pointless videos while driving. No wonder, two exclamation marks. Uh, no wonder there's accidents, three exclamation marks. Couple of things, firstly. One exclamation mark does the same job as more than one exclamation mark. You can't go, <gasps> and then go, <gasps> you're just having whooping cough. So yeah, one, it's, it's fine, you know? Secondly, I don't think it's pointless. See, the thing is, when I go on to, I mean, theoretically, what you've got to do is when you jump in the motor, you've got to read the instructions. But no one reads the manual. No, they don't read the manual, it tells you how to start the engine, put the key in, that kind of thing. Everybody, you go on YouTube or something like that. If there is anything on YouTube to show you how to do it, you've got to work it out yourself. Which means everybody else who comes into this who's not aware of how the adaptive speed control works doesn't know how it works so you could be driving on quite nicely and then suddenly uh, a car pulls out in front of you and you, you, you slams the anchors on you what's going on you could swerve now that could cause an accident now the way I set this thing up you can see it in here in fairness because we're in here aren't we there you go look at that so we have this this here that's a dash mounted camera we have the one over there in the corner that's um that's the that's the one that tracks me. It's got this thing called face tracking on it. It's what do you call it? A gimbal. It's a gimbal. Yeah, it sounds a bit weird that, doesn't it? Gimbal. But um, yeah, gimbal. Um, but yeah, what it does is it's got this sort of floating head thing that um, tracks your face. And so you can you just press record, press record. When it's safe. Then you just tell everybody, do the video, and then when it's safe to stop, press record, press record, and then you edit it all later. So it's all edited. So it might look like, you know, I'm sort of, no, I'm not. And as for not checking your mirrors, of course I'm checking my mirrors. I'm always checking my mirrors. But the idea is, hopefully other people can watch it and go, right, that's how that works. Right, that's how that works. So if anything, I'm trying to do it to prevent accidents. I'm trying to do it so people can be educated of how the adaptive speed control. Alternatively, you might go, what's going on here? And you don't know. You go Google it, and then you go sort of YouTube, but it's nothing there. So you still don't know what's going on. And three times later, you go, what's going on here? And you have an accident. Whereas if you could YouTube it, go, right, I understand now. Okay, well, if I edit, if I click this thing down, that stops me sort of them slowing the anchors on. It might, the idea is hopefully it will prevent one, but there we go. Um, a few other people have said, um, Jim on the run, he says the problem with the DAF auto speed control is if you're following a vehicle and they pull onto a slip road, your wagon still thinks it's in front of you and throws the anchor on, anchors on. Uh, similar fault below when a car is doing a right turn. Yeah, I found exactly the same thing. 
So the, the, the vehicle in front of you exits and suddenly this thing goes, what? and you're like, why? It's not there. Um, I think also Ray Morning says, he says, I hate the dafts, especially when a car is pulling to the right lane and you know full well you're not going to hit it, but the truck thinks otherwise and applies the brakes, which I think could be dangerous. Again, I agree, which is why I think it's good that we can do these videos to inform people of how it works and hopefully at least they'll be, rather than going, what's going on? They'll go, oh, that's our daft speed control. It's gentle brake, knock that off. So they'll be able to control it. And Steve Campbell, he said, oh, because I because I clicked on the thing. I, I thought it's meters, but obviously it's not meters. There's a, there's a switch on the dashboard that tells you whether it's um, how, when, when it wants to, when it wants to apply the brakes, how big a distance you want between you and the vehicle in front before it starts to slow down. Uh, Steve Campbell says, it's not meters, it's wagon lengths. He said, I used to keep mine at one. I've deactivated it now and used normal cruise control as it slams on and the car cuts you off. Exactly what the others have said. Steve, how do you deactivate it? I kind of thought you've either got adaptive cruise control or no cruise control. But if I can have like old fashioned cruise control, I don't know, I still don't mind the adaptive. I still don't mind. I've sort of, you've got to, I mean, obviously you've got to be watching the road. So once again, once you know it's coming, which if you've seen the video, you will, um, then you've got to go, well, I'm going to adjust my speed accordingly rather than wait for it to slam my brakes on. I'm going to put my brakes on. It doesn't stop that thing when a car goes, or if you see a car about to go off the left, you go, right, knock it off. Because I know what it's going to do. But yeah, but Steve, ask me, get back to me on how you actually turn the adaptive off. We can put it in the Sunday Q&A. Um, I'm just going to do another quick couple of quick ones because like I say, I'm, I'm sort of, it's shorter now. We haven't done, you know, I'm, I'm still catching up on the Q&A, obviously, so that kind of thing. But um, James said, Pete, have you ever considered going back into a Luton van rather than sticking HDVs? Thinking back to your videos, when you started on the CX, the world was simpler, seemed to be your oyster. Uh, the chase, life is a balancing act, you know, that kind of thing. The thing is, I've, I've heard this phrase, James, in love, which you can never go back. You can try, but you can never go back. So it's a bit like dating your old girlfriend, because you, you don't go out with them for like a year or so, and you think, oh, she was really lovely. Can't believe I split out with her. You go back out with her, and within three weeks, you realize why well, you left her in the first place. So you don't go back. If I, I'm, I'm only, you can only go forward. If I, I've done Lutons, I've done seven and a halfs. If anything, I would either go up, or you do the whole thing completely, get into a small van, and, well, I don't say that, I never, or a bit of a variety, or just something else altogether. Be a shepherd. Work in a garden centre. If I weren't in a garden centre, I could spend my days tending plants and looking at fish. Doesn't sound bad, does it? Don't think the pay's great, but maybe you can get, you know, probably get cheap lunch. That kind of thing, like, you don't know. I don't know. So, um, yeah, would I ever go back? I, I'll never say never. Never say never. And also, there was one other comment I wanted to catch up on down here somewhere, um, which was from... The French Harlequin. He says, at least you, because that was on speed courses. He says, at least you get these courses in England. In Scotland, if you're caught speeding, it's a fixed penalty notice and that's it. So I want to do one, try not to forget, um, on whether I think the speed awareness courses are any good and whether I think they bring anything to the party. So uh, the French Harlequin, if you are watching this and you're probably not, um, I will do you a video on your own. So, but that'll do today, I think, if that's okay for you guys. A little short um, Sunday Q&A. So I'm going um, to upload that now, so at least you'll get to see something. Um, I've got another one coming out this week, which is like, because I've done the one on the adaptive the cruise control. There's also one on the, oh, if you stray out of a lane, meh, you'll find out. Oh, sometimes I think, I can understand what you're trying to do here, but maybe give it another couple of years before you bring it out. Or maybe what they're doing, they're using this as guinea pigs, aren't they, really? They're bringing it out to go, well, we'll see what you guys think, if it's any good. And you can wait till we hear all the complaints, and then we'll change that. Um, and then there's probably going to be an awful lot more life on the road. I've been up to Dublin recently, and I've been in London recently. That was joyous. Um, and also, I'm, I'm going up with this, I'm taping it today. So, um, 
it probably will be an awful lot more life on the road videos. I still want to do the bits in between though, like yeah, see how the work boots are getting on, see how like, you know, do the one on the speed awareness courses. Um, but of course the life on the road videos take a, a, a quite a while to edit together and I'm kind of flat out with um, transport IT at the moment. So, um, but in the meantime, I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to upload this video, have a little rest and uh, then onwards to Inverness, taking care and taking money.